Hey, how you doing folks? I am Blunty throwing verbs and such at you from behind my desk because the original opening I shot for this video on the show floor at IEM 2019 sounded like this. This laptop gaming is the fastest growing segment of PC gaming I'm told, statistically speaking. It seems my new microphones I've been testing can be a little temperamental. Live and learn, eh? oops -a doodle So anyway, the Aussie Lenovo team asked me to come along to their booth at the Intel Extreme Masters Big Fat Esports event in Sydney this weekend and catch up with what they've been doing on this year's lineup of Lenovo Legion products. Uh, on the outside, C730 and T730 look the same as they did last year, which is good news, frankly, because I loved the sleek new design language they nailed down, especially the Cube. Still the best looking mini ITX machine off the shelf as far as I'm concerned. Both machines now come with Intel's new 9th generation Core i7-9700K and Core i9-9900K, woof. And of course the new beast mode RTX 2070 and RTX 2080 GPUs from Nvidia. If you're a long time viewer you'll know I spent a lot of time testing the previous generation T730 tower. Did a few sponsored streams with it and such, and with the new upgrades I still maintain they're easily one of my favourite off the shelf gaming rigs. I appreciate the no nonsense power in a very pleasant modern sleek design. But that is of course for those of you who want the easy path to PC gaming. Buy it, unpack it, game on it, done. I personally like the steeper hill of the build it yourself custom PC route and what that means is that I was personally a lot more excited by the new Legion laptops. Can't build those yourself so finding a sweet mobile rig is a choice I and those like me make very carefully. And once more, I have a lot of direct personal experience here, because the last thing I did as my actual longer term sponsorship with Lenovo ended last year was buy a Legion Y530 laptop for myself. Because like the desktops that balance Lenovo have found between not compromising gaming performance while still making a slick and professional looking product really appeals to me personally. And of course, much like the desktops, the newest revision, the Legion Y540, hitting shelves sometime real soon, gets a jolt from the 9th generation Intel CPUs. Specifically, the Core i7-9750H, which gets an 18% kick in clock speed versus the 8th generation i7 in the previous model, the one I have. And of course, the newest NVIDIA GPUs are along for the ride, configurable with either a solid GTX 1660 Ti, or for a taste of those new ray tracing tricks and the clever machine learning tensor cores, a GeForce RTX 2060. Both opinions come with a meaty 6GB of graphics memory, of course. Aside from that, I also had a nice chat with Brad Mifsud, and I hope I pronounced his name right, who is the Consumer Product Manager at Lenovo Australia. Never met him before. When I did some sponsored stuff last year with Lenovo, it was with the main head office peeps, overseas peeps, not the Aussie team. So it was pretty nice to meet the guy, and stood in front of the camera and asked him for his own words on how proud Lenovo are of what they've done with the revamped Legion brand. So we're happy to be here at the Intel Extremes Masters event uh, this weekend in Sydney. We're excited to be able to bring to market uh, the latest in the Intel uh, processors with the 9th gen processors uh, launching inside our Y740 series. The Lenovo Legion branding is something that we hold close to our heart. We've uh, listened to the gaming community and what we found very early on is that uh, there's no specific gamer uh, that's actually out there and uh, anybody can be a gamer and they really want to be able to be proud of the device that they've got uh, without it looking like it, 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 it's out of place. 